hi guys welcome to the new tutorial in this tutorial i will discuss about azure virtual network gateway so basically i will deploy two virtual network gateways and then we will configure those uh, gateways and then with the help of virtual machines we will uh, check the connectivity between two uh, vnets so we will choose the private ip of the virtual machine so let's go to the Azure portal and start deploying our network. So over here I have a resource group and under this resource group I already created uh, two virtual networks. So we will focus on the virtual network gateway. So the purpose of this lab, uh, we want to connect two VNets and for that we can choose two uh, virtual network gateways. And uh, apart from that, uh, I already mentioned in my previous uh, series about the uh, vnet pairing so that is also another way to uh, reach to between two virtual networks so today i'm going to show you how we can configure virtual network gateway and then we will use those gateways to reach from one vnet to another vnet so let's search out virtual network gateway or uh, you can see here virtual network gateways then click on that and create the virtual network gateway so this is the way we can configure so we can go with the vpn uh, gateway and we can call it the gateway one and i will use the region same region where i deployed my vnet so my vnet is under us east and also east asia so first one east asia and over here we can choose vpn gateway or express route so i will focus vpn gateway over here we will talk about express route vector and we can choose the vpn type so route based or policy based so route based have more features if you will choose policy based you can only get the basic sku on in that SKU there is not so much uh, you know resources for the uh, environment and also the SLA is also at limited so we prefer route base and in that route base we can select the SKU and you can go uh, from basic to higher level so according to your requirement and your the gateway bandwidth and those kind of things and you can choose the generation so we can choose one generation and here we can select our vnet so vnet 2 because it's under east asia if we want to select vnet 1 we need to choose east, east us and here and it will show us the region so right now we can just simply go to East Asia and VNet1 over here then you can create your own address space or you can go with this address space because gateway also need a full subnet so it will not use the default subnet it will create its own gateway subnet and you can create the public IP so PIP V two or v1 you can go with v2 because i chose vnet2 over here and then we can choose the availability zone or zone redundant according to your requirement then over here if there is a like side to side connection because this pur uh, lab purpose is also like a side to side connection but within the vnet or if you have like on premises uh, kind of scenario you can choose the active active mode so more like resources and more uh, consumption of budget and more reliability but for like this lab just go with the basic and like cheap things like cheap budget you can say or enable bgp you can enable the bgp for express route or like uh, active active mode for on premises side but like we go with this one and then we can create this uh, vnet gateway it takes uh, around 30 minutes 
or you can say 45 minutes to create one vnet gateway so i will pause the video and in the meantime i will create another gateway uh, to so we can use those two gateways and check the connectivity in this lab so i will pause the video and come back once it deploy so the vpn gateway has been deployed it's both of them in the meantime uh, we will start and apart from that i already created to two virtual machine in each vnet so we can test them as well so before we can go to configure the virtual network gateway let's go to the virtual machine and check the connectivity first just to show you because it's not connected via private ip so one is the virtual uh, machine like this one and the other one is here so let's see vm server one so i will uh, use the command to check the ip address so that's the ip address and for it uh, let's find out the ip address of virtual machine 2 so one has like 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 4 and one is 10 dot 1 dot 0 dot 4 so if i will try to ping this virtual machine 10 dot 1 dot 0 dot 4 i will not get reply and over here same we will check with the 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot 4 we will not get the reply so just to show you because it's not connected over the vpn and it will show us the loss so let's go to the virtual network one um, i'm sorry v uh, virtual network gateway one and configure the gateway first so vpn gateway one for gateway we need to check the configurations and things so this is uh, the overview and this you can see this is the route based vpn and the sku so right now the we just enable the gateway and there is no tunnel so it's like the dashboard is zero like nothing over here so we can just directly go to the setting under the settings we need to create uh, connections and first let's go to configurations to see so we can see the sku we can change the sku over here and uh, we can enable active active mode or those kind of things within the configuration which already are in use so it's a good feature otherwise some if we choose uh, basic sku so we have to delete this gateway first and then we need to configure the things again but in the route based and upper sku we, we can uh, choose any you know generation or any other mode so that's convenient so let's go to connections and add connections so here we need to choose the connection and so connection one we can say it connection one 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 is better and uh, so here we can choose the type so basically side to side if you have ipsec with your on premises side and uh, you can use this one and you can choose express route for the connectivity but uh, if you have vnet to vnet like in our lab so we can go with the vnet to vnet and <coughs> the gateway is already here we need to choose another gateway called vpn gateway 2 so we need to choose this gateway just click on it and put the shared key over here so we will use that shared key or uh, sometimes it does not need but we can choose it 
here we can choose the protocol IKE uh, but uh, for this lab we will go with IKV2 and if you have like on-site connectivity then I prefer IKV2 for more encryption so just click it OK so it will create the connection and uh, I think it will not take so long so I will come after it's finished so the connection has been established I think we can check right now the status is unknown maybe it takes some time to connect so we can check the configurations and let's see and we can try to go to the virtual network gateway 2 so over there we can see the connectivity for that gateway as well so let's go to virtual network gateway 2 and go to the connections so we can see the connection already here that means two are connected and the status shows unknown because is we just established so it takes a little time to refresh the logs or you can say refresh the portal so let's see uh, in a while so now it's connected as it takes like a small time to update from the back end so we can open our vm server 1 and over here vm server 2 so for that let's use this and see if it's ping the virtual server 2 and over here first we will we'll go with this one seems like it's not still uh, giving us the response but although it's connected let's see again mm, something is not good let's see the other virtual machine is giving the same issue but over here it is connected and we can further dig into this connection and find out the data rate is showing over here but I'm not sure why those two servers are not pinging each other mm -hmm. so let me further troubleshoot and come back so I have checked and reset the connection and now we will check again uh, so first from this server so it's pinging this server and from this server you can check see how the connectivity is perfect going well so if we will go to the logs we can check the logs as well so before that I will show you the dashboard for the VPN gateways we can see if there is some curve or not yeah now we can see the traffic has been established so there are like logs in this tunnel and you can see the tunnel over here you can also go to monitoring and under monitoring go to mo metrics so in this metrics we can check the packet or some other options uh, we can select like total count so we can see the little bit curve like means the connectivity has been established and we can ping the both virtual machines over the VPN so this is how we can create side to side connectivity between two virtual network gateways and uh, this is all about that and I will come with another tutorial in my next video so till then have a good time bye bye